the push, I believe, comes from the back foot, and that's where that's where you get your, your power or, or your timing and, and that little bit of contact that you're searching for. So, yes, the weight's slightly forward, I, for me anyway. I think that's important because you need to be able to get over your front leg, and if you've got a guy that's going to perhaps nip a ball back um, or be swinging the ball around, and you need to be able to access those deliveries. But the push comes from the back foot. So basically, if I'm, if I'm in this stance, which is my um, regular stance, and my head's hopefully in the right position, um, then often I'll do a little press. So I'm slight, my weight is slightly forward. However, the press comes off that back leg and pushes you towards the delivery in whatever direction that it's coming from. So often it's trying to be nice and straight. So I'm pushing off that back foot and then making the contact, whether it's sort of through the covers or straight down the ground. You're looking to play a cover drive and the bowler gets a little bit wide and full. Then I, I do my little press and I look to push off that back foot. And as you see that ball come slightly wider and your head is in that level position, then you can push off that back foot to access that ball on the offside and then hopefully make that late contact. Um, and with that press, get that little bit of power or that little bit of punch that you need to to address the ball and, and hopefully hit it for four or, or two or whatever the outcome may be, but the position being the most important part of that. So yeah, I guess once again, it's, it's identifying the threat, which is possibly the straight delivery that might move a little bit, and then know the bowl has gone a little bit wide, pushing off the back foot, and then extending the hands through the ball. The hips are really important for, uh, for that contact as well. Um, in fact, probably most important for the idea of power um, and if you're able to, to hold that hip position square and then on contact bring it through, through the ball. And I guess what I mean by that is if you're on the front foot and you're looking to perhaps hit the ball over the top, if you let that hip go and then the shot becomes just about your hands, then you can imagine that the power becomes a bit of a pat on the cricket ball. It becomes a bit of a push. If you're able to hold that position longer, wait, 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 wait. Once again, the balance being very important hold, 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 push off the back foot, make contact and bring those hips through um, with the timing and the rhythm of the ball, then, then the power can be significantly greater. And, and I guess for a, a player like myself, um, I'm not a, a power player, but power is still very important to, to my game and, and anybody's game, um, you know, whether it being relative. And I guess you, you've got Pollard and Chris Gale and, and all these other guys with incredible uh, amounts of power, but um, I guess my power is certainly not at that level, but it's still very important to my game and the areas that I want to be accessing. So the hips um, are an important part of, of generating power.